Wolf just tell stories. Mm, I don't even know if I have good stories to tell or not. Actually, I do have one funny story. All right, you guys want to hear it? Fine, I'll, t I'll tell you a story. So, I lived in a small farmhouse. It was a three-bedroom, one-bathroom farmhouse. It was maybe like 1,300 square foot altogether. It was actually it was actually pretty cramped. Maybe it might be less than 1,300 square foot, but it was in bad shape. That house was made in like. 1910s, maybe even before the 1900s, because my, my dad added on like a whole bunch of stuff to it, but anyway, because it was one bathroom, uh, my mom was working as a uh, teacher's aide at the time, like for special ed kids and everything, like or just kids that like needed um, like special ed help. So she would, you know, like most like most teachers and stuff, they get all like pretty up in the morning, doing their hair, doing their makeup, and everything. So she'd wake up, she'd shower, she'd do all that shit, she'd like make breakfast and all that shit. And so she was in the bathroom for fucking ever. She like just she was in there for I don't know how like an hour it, at least every morning. And I woke up in the morning and I had to shit. So better context of this, my mom got pissed at me every time I had to pee or do anything in the bathroom while she was in the shower, or just like she like she was just doing stuff. Because you know what, like most what most people do when they're doing their hair, they just like it's just tons and tons and tons of hairspray, right? Just tsst, and I was just like, I, I hate this. I hated everything that just all the crap that they put on themselves and shit. Um, so she was in the shower, and I just got tired of hearing her lip every time. Like I just I didn't want to put up with it that morning. I think I was like maybe I was, over I was before I was just like I'm doing a, a story time right now. Give me one second, Foxy. <laughs> I'm telling a really funny story. I got I just I got tired of hearing it. I was bef it was I think it was maybe ten, maybe nine. We well, still had our old dog Sarah. She was like a um uh sh she was a uh, shepherd dog. I don't know, what do you call it? A Australian shepherd. I know we still had her at the time. So I just got tired of hearing her crap. Literally, I said, fuck this. I don't want to hear my mom just like, really? You have to poop now? I went outside. I took a shit in our yard. <laughs> I took a shit out in front of our front porch. I just said, fuck it. I legit just went out, popped a squat, and just shit out on our front, in our, our front porch. So... I come back in the house. She's finally in the bathroom. I go in there and wipe really quick. I pulled up my pants. I didn't, I didn't have anything to wipe. Yeah, I come back inside and to go wipe. And then, so we, we all have our day. My sister goes to school. I go to school. My mom goes to school. We come back. My dad eventually gets home. My mom says to my dad, Honey, there's a big-ass deer shit that's out in the front or in the backyard. Can you grab the shovel and go chuck it over the field? I did not have the heart. I did not have it in me to, t to say to my mother, Mom, that's not deer shit, that is my shit. <laughs> Just a, a fucking big ass turd that I squatted right out in the front porch, dude. I never told her that. To this day, I have never told her that story. I have still never told her that. So that's, that happened. <laughs> uh, someone clip it. I'll remember this time marker. Find her email and send it. <laughs> I still have not told her that to this day. I actually need to tell her that at some point. They probably don't even remember that. My parents are getting... My dad's like 67 and my mom's 63. They had me when I was late. Or they had me when they were like... Uh, older. Because my sister is four years older than me. Um, but... Here's another funny story. I've actually told this one on stream before, but the vast majority you probably don't even remember it call her right now and tell her well they have covid my mom and dad have covid right now they're okay they're fine but they have covid right now then we'd be here that shit tell her on stream no <laughs> i don't want to butter my mom with a shit story literally a shit story <laughs> so this is another funny another funny story remember the friend i keep mentioning that uh i constantly talk about where like i play call of duty in uh, his garage, it was his, it was his dad's garage, his dad and his stepmom's garage. Um, he was complete he was a complete baker baker kid, like baked kid. He just like smoked weed every single day, tons of cigarettes, liked to drink, abused pills, marijuana, all that kind of shit. So 
I lived, like, we lived in the country for the most part. I could do, it was like less than a mile walk down to his room, and we were just playing Call of Duty one night. It had just got done raining. I smoked, I actually did smoke cigarettes at the time. Um, I went outside. So, his name was Johnny. Uh, he's actually, he didn't really make much progress in a way, but he, he, he got stoned every day is the biggest thing. But, anyway, fucking, he, uh, we went outside. I went outside to go smoke really quick, and he's like, I'm going to smoke a cigarette. So I asked him, I said, do you know about the worms? And he's like, what do you mean the worms? I was like, do you know that when you stomp on the ground, you can actually hear them move around or whatever? He's like, dude, th like he's he's baked as shit. He's baked off of his ass. So he... <laughs> I, I get done smoking my cigarette, and then I go like off of the sidewalk that they have on, on, their, on their patio or whatever. I jump up, and I stomp on the ground as hard as I can. Like, all right, because I tell him, like, listen for the listen for the worms. I slip and bust my ass so freaking hard. My ass, my <laughs> my pants are like soaked with mud and grass now, and he just freaking loses it. Like he's just <laughs> he's starting to develop like a, a smoker's cough. I slip and bust my ass, and then his dad just completely out of nowhere comes out of the 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 front the back porch door he's on a, the phone with one of his friends because he's wanting to like go fishing or whatever and he's like he's like being spastic as shit he gets up his phone and then makes a bolt towards his shed he's like i'm gonna go catch me some trout tonight let me go catch some trout i'm like <laughs> so then he starts going like he is just he's coughing up a lung on the other side of the yard because he's laughing so hard for me, busting my ass. Because, uh, have you guys ever heard of that before? Where, like, it, it just gets done freshly raining, right? It just gets done from raining, you stomp on the ground. You can hear, the, hear all the earthworms going, like, back into the ground. But, there's that story. You've never heard of that. If you live out in, like, somewhat country area, after it gets done raining, go stomp on the ground. If it's, like, dead-ass quiet, go stomp on the ground, you can hear all the earthworms, like, going back into the ground.